guys, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're on a 2011 Freightliner here with the uh, Kajali Jaw Test unit here. And I've already went through and let it do a system scan here just for time's sake because that takes a few minutes there to scan through all these different modules. You can come in here, you can click expand all faults. You'll be able to look at all your different fault codes here. Okay, I'm going to collapse these back and we're just going to go through a couple of the modules here. I'm going to go into the powertrain controller. And you just double click these and then we'll go ahead and connect in. It's going to take just a second here. All right. First two you have, you've got read fault codes, clear fault codes, um, system data, which is actually going to take you over to, you can look at the ECU data here, um, give you a little bit of information here, VINs, hardware numbers, software numbers. We'll back out of here under the parameter side this is where you're going to come in here you can display the current parameters and what they're set at here or you can actually go in and modify if you wanted to change the vehicle max speed idle shutdown timers things like that as you can see here it's pretty good coverage um, under the monitoring tab this is where you'll actually go to look at your parameters all right and you can select all you could select just a couple you can actually put them in a graph format here but we're just gonna go through here and look at some of these real quick. As you can see, there's 22 pages up here. I'm just gonna go through a couple of them. All your major parameters are in here. All right, I'm just gonna hit that check mark and then back to go back out of here. Actuations, you can be able to come in here. You can cut some of your lamps on, your morning lamps for your uh, regen, check engine lights, things like that under the maintenance tab this is where you can actually come in here force the regen or reset the filter under the configurations tab you've actually got password management in here this will allow you to go in and enter the password if the ecm is password protected we're going to disconnect out of this and i want to go into the engine ecm here again it'll take 10 15 seconds here to connect all right in here we can go to read fault codes at the top all right and as you can see this is going to pull up spn 411 fmi 4 and this tool actually has some built-in troubleshooting here i'll click this and we'll take a look at it real quick it does come at an extra cost per year um, okay this is basically going to break it down for you, trouble tree. Give you your different uh, values here to check, and you just work your way on down the list here to, of course, you know, down at the bottom after you've solved it, it lets you know to clear your faults here. Under the help and components of the system, you can come in here. They've got wiring diagrams. And we'll let this load up. All right, as you can see, it's already highlighted it here. If you hover over it with the mouse there, it'll actually give you a picture of the sensor. That way you know what you're looking at there. Um, once again, that is, you know, an extra cost to add that on, but it is built into the software. Now, if you do get it from us here at Diesel Laptops, we have, let me go to my desktop here. We have knowledge base, which is gonna be your more in-depth, like your trouble trees, and then DTC solutions, which is kind of more of a quick reference. Um, I'm gonna start in knowledge base and pull this one up. This is a Detroit DD series. We're gonna to go to DTCs and this middle one here. And then we are looking for 411 FMI 4. All right. And as you can see, these load up. Um, this is going to give you the same thing as you go down here, just your actual trouble tree, your different steps to follow here. The other program we have is DTC Solutions. I've already pulled it up here. Um, this is your code, and this is gonna give you some probable causes. Also as well built into here, you do have wiring diagrams too. 
I'll pull one up here. And these are our wiring diagrams. They're a lot simpler to read than the OEE. As you can see here, it shows your sensors and then going directly back to your connector or to your ECM here. All right. Let me pull the software back up and let's back out of here. Click accept. Okay. Monitoring here, this is going to give you, once again, your live data. And as you can see, 199 different parameters here. I'll let you look at a few of them. Okay. Actuate components, these are going to be your tests, um, as well as under your system check over here cylinder cutouts, compression test, cylinder balance tests, and then under your maintenance tests, your regens, pressure relief valves, and calibrations where you're going to find your injector coating. As you can see here, you can read or modify, and then for your EGR down there as well. I'm going to disconnect and I want to go into the after treatment system here. All right, and as you can see, the tool set up, once again, similar to all the others, um, very easy to navigate. You can go in here, of course, read and clear your faults. Under system data, we'll look at ECU data. And, of course, for your actuations, for your uh, def control valve, and your system checks down here. Of course, maintenance for your replacement or your filter resets and the regen as well. Overall, I'd say really good coverage here with this tool. Thanks for watching.